Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I know we enjoyed it. Um, good family time. I love the way we're checking in with this flip grid. I'm seeing your messages come in and they are super cute. Um, I love hearing your voices and seeing your smiles. I really miss you guys. And I know that my class is doing a Zoom today at two o'clock that we're super excited for over in the Flanagan house. Um, can't wait just to hear what, how you guys are doing and what's going on. Um, we're definitely all learning through this and I'm very proud of all of you for working with us and helping your mom and dad with getting your work done and you're still continuing to learn, which I think is the most amazing thing. And I'm super proud of you guys. Um, today, boys and girls, we are gonna learn, and this whole week, our concepts are going to be, um, the first one for phonics is the letter sounds, and it's oi. So, O and I make the oi sound. Can you guys say that? Oi, as in boy or toy. And then we, and then we have, um, so it's the O-I and the O-Y sound. So boy and toy are for the O-Y, right? For the spelling with O-Y. Now, the O-I is a little bit trickier because we probably haven't seen many of those words yet, but we have the word for spelling this week, spoil. Spoil, S-P-O-I-L, spoil. Coin, C-O-I-N, coin. And then we have join, J-O-I-N. And then we have the word joy, J-O-Y. I, I gotta erase a little bit. And then we have toy, T-O-Y. And then we have boy, B-O-Y. And then our review words in our spelling, boys and girls, are town, T-O-W-N. Mouse is a review word, M-O-U-S-E. And I think everybody got that right last week. And the word build, B-U-I-L-D. And then the word fall, F-A-L-L. -L. Okay? So they are our, that's our spelling words for this week. So we're going to start using them in a sentence. Um, you can write a story using those words, many different things to keep you guys busy learning the spelling of um, your words. I sent out all your work to your mom and dad this week. Today was a little bit um, lighter of work because we're doing a Zoom with the class and you guys have that flip grid. So I thought that maybe I would give you a little bit less writing um, to do. Our sight words, boys and girls, are the words above. Bill, fall, new, and this is the new, like you, like it has a K, a silent K in the front of it. I knew that you were coming to my house. It's like knowledge, right? Um, not new as in something's brand new or not old, right? Okay, and then the word money and the word toward. So they are your sight, your, your sight words for this week. You also have vocabulary words. I believe I listed two of them, the two important ones that we're really gonna be doing work with in your practice book. Um, actually, uh, let's see, your practice book this week, which is tomorrow's work. It's the word, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's the word balance and section. So balance is a thing that can, a thing that can balance if it can stay in one place without falling. And then a section, section is just a small part of something bigger. Like if you wanted to color a section of your paper, you would just do the small part of it, right? But to balance would be to stay upright without falling over, okay? All right, so let me see. We have an exciting, our, our um, star of the week this week is Leo, and we're super excited because Leo is going to just continue behaving like we're in school. He's gonna send us a video of his poster that he made. He's gonna talk about things that he likes. Maybe he'll read a story to us. We'll try to figure it out as we go. I heard something about giving out special treats somehow to all the kids somehow, some way, I don't know. His mom's getting creative. So yes, Leo is our star of the week. We also have mystery reader hints for this week. And I'm gonna give you all the hints today. Okay, are you ready? Let me get my paper here. So the mystery reader is going to come to you in a video reading, um, reading uh, your story. 
So our mystery reader this week loves chocolate. I think a lot of people love chocolate with their hands. The next one is, this person loves to cook. Do any of your parents love chocolate and love to cook? Um, how about, this person loves puzzles. Loves to do puzzles. And, ready for this one? This person is a teacher. It's a teacher. So, I'm sure a lot of you first graders from my class are thinking of what parents are teachers and you're trying to rack your brain who it might be. So we'll see on Friday, we'll have that person read to you guys. So that's our mystery reader. Um, let me see, we're just gonna jump right into it and then I'll read your story. Um, the, other, the other vocabulary words, boys and girls, are, is the word, there's one, it's the word project. Project is something you work on, such as writing a report or drawing a picture. Kennedy, can you give everybody an example of a project? Any project we've ever done in school, at home, mom and dad, your brothers and sisters. Um, a project. What kind of project can we work on? Come on, quickly. Okay, so she, so we, for, for, I think for Mrs. Riley's class, we had to make a habitat with Patrick and Riley, right? So out of a shoebox. So that's a project. That's a great example. Thank you. Okay, and then the word structure is something that has been built, such as a house or a bridge. All of you are standing in a house. That is a structure, right? Something that has been built. Our story this week is about building a ship, I believe. And our words have something to do. So intend, if you intend to do something, you are planning to do it. I'll get my book over here. You are planning to do it if you intend. So we're intending on learning and teaching this week. Um, if you're content, you are pleased or you are happy. Can you guys say content? Can you say content? Content. content. That's right. You guys say that at home too. Marvelous, boys and girls. If something is marvelous, it is wonderful or excellent. So they are your vocabulary words that you can keep talking about throughout this week. You can use them around your house. I always say so you can sound really smart using big words. Just make sure I'm getting to everything here. The Joy of a Ship is a, is a story that we have in our reading and writing workshop books. I went back to school and looked in your desks and a lot of you did bring both books home. So if you do have that book, I would like you to read The Joy of a Ship this week and talk about the cause and effect. We talked about that in school. Everything has a cause and effect. It's raining today, so because it's raining, we're gonna stay inside. Cause and effect, remember? Think of an example of something that gives a cause and effect. If your little brother pushes you, you're gonna what? Ken, what are you gonna do? Fall. You're gonna fall down. So that's cause and effect. He caused you to fall because he pushed you. Everything has a cause and effect, and that's one of our concepts of the week. Um, abbreviations, we're gonna review them. We've done them before, but abbreviations for Mrs., Mr., for Doctor, for Drive, like if you live on Longcomb Drive, um, Street, can you think of any more, Kennedy? How about the days of the week or the months? There's definitely abbreviations for all the months and for the days of the week, okay? So abbreviations just make the word shorter and you always put a, uh, a period at the end. So we, you guys can practice writing your abbreviations and some of your practice book pages will have you recall abbreviations. Uh, prepositions. So I did talk about, you do have a, you have a preposition on this board, it's toward, see that? And above, a preposition can describe where something is. It can be, I always say, if you picture a box and you walk around the box and you can stand on top of the box or behind it or next to it or you walk toward it, right? They are prepositions. Um, if you get in it, if you're above it, if you're under it, these are all prepositions. It basically tells you where, um, I'm trying to think, where, where you are. <laughs> so um, there's prepositional phrases 
They begin with a preposition and it ends with a noun or a pronoun, right? So like the brown mole is in the ground. Is in, in would be the preposition, and then the ground is the prepositional phrase. In the ground. Declan is in his bedroom. Kennedy is above the house. That means she's in the sky. But it's, that's, that's, we can say that, right? All right, so you guys have that under control. Check off all these things that we're learning. You're gonna do practice book pages with your sight words this week um, or today. You're gonna do some reading. AR, I send home um, your AR link. If any of you do not know your AR login, I have that for you. I think I sent it out to um, your moms and dads, but I can send it out again if you need it. Um, what else do we, oh, freckle math. We're working on freckle math. And then we have the flip grid. So we have a lot going on this week, lots of new things. I love the way you guys are just jumping right into it. Math is a lot of problem solving this week. You have to read the problems, the word problems, and then you have to solve, solve the answer and try to find the sum, okay? So um, a lot more reading this week in math, which is okay. Keep practicing your addition and your subtraction, please. And um, we are gonna be discussing how we're gonna do tests this week. We know how we're doing the, you're reading your words out loud, your parents can send a video to me. And you're also going to um, submit the spelling tests. I have math tests that I'm gonna try to get to you guys so we can do that this week. We have lots of fun things and I promise you, I promise you we're gonna make this as fun as possible, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna read this book to you. It's called My Brain, An Exciting Way to Learn About Your Body. Okay, I thought this would be an important, it's by Sally Hewitt. You wanna come sit with me, Ken? Yeah. Come here, let me. Here, do, 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 do. come on this way. Say hi to all your friends. I don't know, I'm sitting and then you're gonna sit on me. Jeez, okay, come on. Or you sit right there, okay. What is your brain? Your brain is inside your head. You think with this part of your body and your brain controls everything that you do. While you are asleep, good morning, your brain keeps on working. Your dreams are what you are thinking about in your sleep. Your brain tells your body to move. It tells you what you see, smell, hear, taste, and touch. It even tells you if you are happy or sad. You learn new things and remember them using your brain. Good morning. Your brain is kept safe inside a strong box of bone in your head called your skull. Your brain needs to be protected because it is soft. See that? Um, every part of your brain has a job to do. You think with the biggest part of your brain. Um, the back of your brain controls how you move. And the brain stem controls digestion, digestion and makes sure your heart and breathing never stop, even when you are asleep. Nerves. Nerves carry... That's why she left. Here we go. Nerves carry messages from your brain to every part of your body and back again. Your nerves are like pathways. Messages run up and down them all the time. Your spinal cord is a long tube of nerves down the middle of your back. The nerves in your spinal cord link your brain to every part of your body. Two kinds of messages are sent along your nerves. One goes to your brain to tell it what is happening and the brain sends a reply to tell your body how to react. This feels wet. Pull your hand out the water to get dry. Kennedy. Senses. Your senses tell you what is going on around you. You have five senses. You see with your eyes, you hear with your ears, you smell with your nose, you taste with your tongue, and you feel with your skin. When you see something, a message sent along your nerves from your eyes to your brain. Your brain tells you what, are you, what you're seeing. Your senses work together to tell you things. 
your eyes see flames, your nose smells smoke, your ears hear cracking, and your brain tells you fire. Your skin feels hot and warns you, don't touch. Can you tell what something is by only using one sense? Smell an orange, soap, chocolate, and a flower. Now, feel them as well. Does that help? Sure does. Quick as a flash. You do some things as quick as a flash without thinking about them. If your finger touches a hot mug, you get the message hot and quickly pull the finger away. A flash of light makes you blink. Blinking protects your eyes from bright light. Are you good at hitting a ball? Your brain tells you instantly where the ball is going so you can hit it. With a friend or with a family member, drop a pencil between each other's hands. Can you catch it? Whose brain sends messages the fastest? Oh, that'll be a good one. Everybody try to do that today. Your brain remembers things. When you taste new food for the first time, your brain remembers what it looks like, how it tastes and smells, and if you like it. When you are given the food again, your brain remembers whether you liked it or not. You can't remember everything, so your brain works out what is important and what is not so important. What happened yesterday? Can you remember everything or just some important things? It's important to remember faces. Your brain is very good at it. Find pictures of 10 faces. Show five of those faces quickly to a, a family member and then shuffle all 10 faces together. Now spread them out. Can your, can your family member remember which of the faces he or she has already seen? So learning, when you do something new such as learn to ride a bike, your brain and your nerves have to make a new pathway. As you practice, messages keep going up and down and the new path in, until suddenly you really can ride a cycle. Once you have learned how to ride a cycle, you never forget how to do it. Hard work and practice help you learn new things, remember how to do them, and get better at them. Write your own name with the hand you don't usually use. Practice over and over. Do you get better at writing it with the wrong hand? For sure. Any practice makes perfect, right guys? Okay, this is the last one. Feelings. How do you feel when you have been invited to a sleepover with your friends? How do you feel if someone borrows your favorite pen, then loses it? How do you, or do you feel excited, angry, sad, or happy? You can usually tell how some, someone is feeling by the look on their face. Your feelings come from your brain. With your family member, think of a feeling, then pull a face and make your body show that feeling. Can your family member guess the feeling? Just by looking at you, probably. Feelings can help you do the right thing at the right time. If you feel afraid of a fierce animal, you keep away from it. Like beware of the dog. If you feel happy to see your friend, you smile and your friend smiles back. You both feel happy and you have a good time. Healthy brain, your brain is part of your body. There are lots of things you can do to keep healthy. Eat healthy food, fruit, fish, vegetables, and milk are all good for your brain and the rest of your body. Keep your brain busy, learn new things, play games, and do puzzles. Having fun and chatting with friends is good for your brain. Sports and exercise are good for your whole body, including your brain. Your brain does not need to work as hard when you are asleep, so get plenty of sleep and let it rest. That's a good way to end it, boys and girls, because us being home and not being able to really go anywhere. Make sure you guys are still exercising and you're getting good rest and that you're getting those brains to grow. Reading, coloring, drawing pictures, looking at books, playing games. There are things that are gonna make that brain grow. It just does it by itself when you start learning. Isn't that cool? I wanna end with a prayer today and I'm gonna pray for all of you. And I'm going to pray that we all stay healthy, happy, and safe in mind, body, and spirit. And that uh, we all get back to our normal routine soon. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day.